Hey guys, Monty here with HKN. I'm here to show you how to solve this question using Mason's rule. We're going to be finding the transfer function. So I have Mason's rule right here. And the very first thing we need to do is that we need to draw our signal flow graph. So first, we need to find all the intersecting points. So we've got one here here, three here, four here, and five. So we go ahead and make a line. So I've got R, else. We got our first point. Our second point. Our third point. Fourth, fifth, and then our output. See, well, that's so we'll go down and the arrows. So from RS point one. Nothing happens, so it's multiplied by 1. From 1 to 2, nothing happens. Multiplied by 1. From 2 to 3, we go through G1. From 3 to 4, we go through G2. From 4 to 5, we go through G3. And then from 5 to the output, we go through one So now I can start putting in my loops. So from four to five, I'll put negative H3. I'm getting that negative from here. From three to two, I'll put negative H1. And from five to one, I'll put negative H2. This is our signal flow graph. <laughs> now we need to find how many forward paths we have. How many forward paths are possible with, with this? So looks like there's just one path. So I'll put so our k is equal to one because there's just one path. So p one equals so let's take the entire forward path and it's just going to be g1 g2 g3 and now let's look at our single loop gains so in order to find our single loop gains, let me change the color there. So I'll put one, and I'll do this loop first. Equals negative G3, H3, loop two. I'll do negative G1, H1, I did this loop. Then for loop three, I'll do this whole loop. So negative G1, G2, G3, H2. Those are all of our sig single loop gains. So now we can get to finding out what our delta is. So our delta is equal to 1 minus the sum single loops plus the sum of loop pairs not touching minus the sum of loop triplets not touching and so on and so forth. 
but for us, we don't have any triple loops that don't touch, but we do have this scenario because this loop and this loop are not touching. So we go ahead and get our delta ready. So delta equals one minus, so it's technically a sum, negative two, three, each three, plus negative g one, which one, plus negative g one, g two, g three, h two, and that's this part. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this part plus. So I'm going to multiply the two loops that aren't touching. So let me go ahead and pick this one and this one because they're not touching here. So multiply it together, that would be negative G3, H3 times negative G1, H1. Cool. Let's go ahead and simplify this. This turns into one if we distribute this negative all across plus G3 H3 plus G1 H1 plus G1 G2 G3 H2 plus, so these two negatives cancel out, G3, H3, G1, H1. So this is our delta. So now for Mason's rule, we also have delta Ks. And delta K is basically calculated the same way our delta is, but we only do loops that are not touching our forward path. So for us, let's look at delta 1 is equal to 1 minus, so because all of the loops touch, it's 0. And then at the same time, again, we add the loops, loop pairs that are not touching, but since they are, it's also zero. So we can write down delta one is equal to one. So now we have everything we need for our transfer function. So we'll go ahead. T S equal to our forward path which is G1 G2 G3 times our delta 1 which is 1 all over our delta which is 1 plus G3 H3 plus G1, H1, plus G1, G2, G3, H2, plus G3, H3, G1, H1. And this is technically our transfer function. Thanks for watching.